Okay, so if I, now that I've moved the block, I think I saw this in the trailer, so I just drop this, whoops, out there now. Oh, it does appear out here. Okay. Forming the duties of his office. Take me see Caesar. Hey everybody, this is Digby. I want to thank you all for stopping by, and today we are checking out a new game called Maquette, which is, according to the store page, a first-person recursive puzzle game that takes us into a world where every building, plant, and object are simultaneously tiny and staggeringly huge. So, this is a game that came out yesterday at time of recording, and hopefully at time of posting the video. Um, I hadn't heard about it, I had no idea it existed, until a guy on my Discord actually mentioned that it had come out, that it was a lot like Superliminal, and that it was an Annapurna Interactive release, and quite frankly, Annapurna Interactive brought us, uh, what was it, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch and The Unfinished Swan and just, you know, a bunch of really awesome pretty games. Now, the only thing I know about this, I did go on it for a couple minutes and checked it out just to, you know, make sure I had all the, like the music was turned off and everything and get the controls, get a little grip on them. But yeah, it's about love and loss and trying to come to terms with a some kind of tragedy or relationship or something by going back through your memories. Uh, not 100% sure, but yeah, either way, let's go check it out and see what we think. Hello, sunflower. Is it still up there? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, here we are. We are in the game now. I did, like I said, poke around in here for a minute or two. I just turned the music off. The music isn't bad. I just don't want to get in trouble with YouTube because YouTube tends to be a bit tetchy about that sort of thing. But yeah, let's have a quick poke around, see what we can... Oh. Sorry, I was a little bit skippy there. I lost my keys last night, so I turned everything inside out trying to find them. Okay. Yeah, it's a really pretty game. It definitely has that kind of like unfinished swan vibe to it. Just the like art style and the palette and everything. Okay, go right or left. I have a sneaking feeling they're going to both lead to exactly the same place. Uh, okay, we got a down there. Alright, we have down there. In my search, I came across a box that was long overdue to be opened. To interact with the lever or button, aim, it, uh, aim at it and press doink. So this is where I got when I actually went and poked around. It was to the opening of this door. So let's go see what the game has in store for us. And look around. Oh, you know what? That's a really nice little touch. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe the rendering won't work out or whatever. But this is actually a complete circle that dark bit they really didn't even need to leave that in there they just did and I, I like little touches like that it's really nice when the devs do something like that this also two pass same solution yes yes oh. forgotten objects from our life together a graveyard of ephemera a jumbled timeline okay so I'm like making sense out of a timeline of us being together okay I have no idea what the tragedy is, or whether we broke up, or she died, or what. I assume I'm the boy in this. I don't know why I assume that. I might be the girl, but... <laughs> I'm gonna go on the assumption that I'm the boy. Okay, matches from that fancy place with the noodles you like. Some old records we picked up on our Sunday thrift store trips. Oh, I miss the thrift store. I used to love going to the thrift store. Novelty glasses I broke when I was too drunk at that New Year's party and panicked on the roof and you calmed me down. Well, we've all been there and done that. Well, at least I have. <laughs> Rooftop parties are usually pretty spectacular. Okay. That's really cool. Can I sit? Just appreciate the view? No. Are you guys fi Oh, they are fireflies. And there's a peep frog in there somewhere. I don't know if Peepfrog is the actual, like, 
taxonomic nomenclature, but that's what we always called them when I was a kid growing up, peat frogs. It was like a good sign of spring was when they started coming out. He's over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're in there somewhere. Okay, Digby, quit getting lost in the beauty of it all. And let's focus on doing some stuff. Yeah, this is really gorgeous. A toy block from that hilariously disastrous weekend we tried babysitting your nephew? <laughs> yep, word of advice, kids. Nieces and nephews, avoid. Alright, what do we got up here? And between a handmade birthday card, a filthy guitar pick, Monopoly houses... Oh, and between a homemade... Uh, yeah, what I just said there. Half a sentence, that was. I found our sketchbook. Okay. The one where we would take turns drawing in, or the one we would take turns drawing in, back when we didn't know each other's secrets. Hmm. Oops. I found my keys, but I missed my train. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing I need to find a key? Pretty good odds that's it up there, isn't it? To carry an item you can hold, aim at it, and press click. Ah, okay. Found my keys but missed my train. Okay, that toggles between holding an item in front of you and dropping it. Perfect. Oh, to unlock a door with a key, hold it in front of you and move it towards the lock. Alrighty. Alright, do I have to turn it or is the game gonna do it? Oh, nope, game's doing it. Okay. So do I need the key for that door as well? Are you gonna fit? Yes! Perfect. Alright, you got a bit of paint on the door there, fellas. Let me bring you with me just in case I need you for something else. Okay, there's a lot of bright happening over here, so let's go check this out. Okay. That is cool. Hmm. I just couldn't stop turning the pages and looking at what our past selves were capable of imagining. I have a sneaking feeling I'm in this sketchbook. Alright, the maquette. Some pages ornate, some pages just unfinished doodles. To anyone else, it might look like the amateur musings of an art school dropout. No reason or rhyme, but to me, I could read it like a novel. Okay, I'm guessing we are in the game proper. Uh, Alright, we got a fairy tale castle over there. This is impenetrable at the moment. Got a block I. It says I can pick it up, but I can't. Is it block? Oh, it's blocking the way to that door. Okay. Well, let's look around and see what else we've got. That's got gears on the corners. Are you like an elevator or something? We've got a door that's locked. Oh, no, that one apparently needs a ticket, not a key. Another elevator corner. This door does need a key. Can I get the key out of the one I came in? Oh, you know what? I don't see the door I came in, so I'm going to guess that's a no. <laughs> and that is a nothing. And over there we got two towers and they're being blocked by the block. It looks like there's elevators in all four corners. Hmm. Now let's go check out the castle then. The sketchbook opened right to the drawing we made the day we first met at that coffee shop. Hey, sorry, um, do you mind if I sit here while I wait for my coffee? Oh, uh, yeah, knock yourself out. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, don't worry, it only spilled I'm a little. I'm such a klutz. Oh. <laughs> Is your sketchbook okay? Um, yeah, unscathed. It's, uh, it's just doodles anyway. Can I see it? Oh, um. Oh, this is a cool castle. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, I just started drawing again. I used to sketch constantly and then, I don't know, I just stopped. So did I. 
I mean, there was a time in elementary school when I was the girl who was good at drawing. The girl who was good at drawing? I remember that girl. Everyone was always like, oh, please, will you help me with my poster? How do I draw hands? Exactly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to draw hands. I'm five years old. <laughs> well, let's see how far you've come since your toddler years. <laughs> okay. Um, you're drawing in it upside down. Hey, there is no right or wrong way to draw in a sketchbook. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Oh, uh, wow, that's my order. That was fast. Um, I'm Kenzie, by the way. I'm Michael. It's nice to meet you. I just gotta run. Bye, Kenzie. Bye. All right, so I'm either Kenzie or Michael then. Uh, we can go poke around the yard over here. What's over here? We'll just we'll have a quick look around, make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah, sorry about the kind of janky mouse movements. I've got my hand wrapped up because it's still quite painful and I heard it even worse last night because I'm a fucking idiot. Ah, uh, let's go see. Anything on this side? Oh, we got the back corner has... Looks like bupkis. Okay, well, you won't know until you look. You get better safe than sorry. Uh, Alright, I guess we're going back here. Oh! Every date was romantic. I don't think we ever did the boring old get drinks in a bar routine. Hmm. Okay, hang on one second. I have to rewrap my hand. In fact, it's a little bit too tight. I'll be right back in literally one second. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, every date was romantic. Yada yada, we did that. So we got in here. Um, we have a slightly smaller version of the fairy tale castle. Okay, and that's the locked door. So is the locked door in here as well? Oh, that's just the twin towers. Now I thought there was a a block blocking that in the large version out here. Does that mean we can move the block in the small version? Yes, we can. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so if I, now that I've moved the block, I think I saw this in the trailer, so I just drop this, whoops, out there now. Oh, it does appear out here. Okay. So, welcome to recursive puzzling. Now I can go in through the Twin Towers. Looks like I have to get up there, maybe? I don't know, we can go find out. Is there anything else in here we can do before we, um, move on, though? Uh, how about you guys, your elevator door? Can we... Oh, those are open now. Excellent. Are they all open? Oh, something in there I can flick. Oh, that had a little lever on it. Did I miss that? Hang on. Oh, okay, it's behind there. That's why I didn't see it. Are they all like that? Are you the open one? Nope. Alright, now I can't remember which one I opened before this one. I think it was over here. Alright, that one's open, that one's open. What about this one? You got a little lever? That one's open. You know what? I think we'll bring the block with us too, just in case. And this should be the other one, yes? Ah, oh, cool. I can do that while holding the block as well. Alright, we got the garden... That's in there. Can I do anything with that doorway now? I know I needed a key, but can I... Oh, I can't even see the bloody thing. Nope, they've got that blocked off. Alright, well, we got the castle we can investigate. Oh, wait a minute, that's actually blocked. Yep, now that's blocked off. Okay. Ah, I see. So we can go down there. That must be up and down. We can go down there. Still no key for you. I'll quit gurgling. Sorry, my tummy is a little gurgly today. I'm hungry. I probably should have ate before I started. Alright, well, we got this open. Let's go in here and see what's in this bit. Eh, looks like nothing hiding in there. Oh, is this an elevator? Yes. Yes, it is. Where's the controls? Up there. Can I reach the controls? 
No. Okay, we spent afternoons drawing together on backyard patios in the Mission District. Alright, Mr. Block, I'm going to put you... I don't know if that would help if that was bigger or... Stick you right there. Just... Hello. Okay. Out of curiosity, I don't need to jump. I can't jump one on top of the block. Now, can I get to the elevator... ...in here? Where's the... It's the Twin Towers, yes? So if I could stick the block in there... Oh, there it is. It's very tiny. Let's go see if I can put it back in there and turn it big. I don't know... Oh, God. I don't know if that's going to actually help me with anything, but... Oh, you know what? I can bet I can put it down here, though. It wasn't very well placed. <laughs> Let me try that again, see if I can actually balance this out a little bit. Kinda... There, maybe? That should be flat enough. Okay, let's see if we can jump across now. Do I have a... Okay, I don't have a sprint button. I have the opposite of a sprint button. So this is jump. Just making sure. Jump. And nope. <laughs> I missed it. And now I block the steps down. I'll see if there's anything in the corner here. Oh, I have a sneaking feeling I'm going to get lost playing this a lot. Picnic brunches in parks. I mean, oh. I have a bridge. Aha. Suddenly this makes more sense. Apart from the fact that now I have to get back up there and I'm not sure how to do that. Alright, well. Can I get in here now? I tell you what. Picnic bench. I'm going to put you down, or bridge, rather. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to the controls. Okay, so the bridge has got to go there. Which means I've got to get back up top now, somehow. That's not going to let me in. Oh, hello. Can I go in there? No. Alright, well, not bad. We're stuck on part one of the puzzle. Can I jump up the box? Please, can I jump up the box? Well, it was kind of letting me jump up the box. Please, can I jump? I've goofed. I don't want to have to restart. I goofed. Well, no, because the bridge is down here, so I've got to be able to get up there. Oh, you know what? Let's try. That? Why can I not use the elevator switch? Do I need this one? Aha! Okay. Sorted it out, I'm not an idiot. Alright, one second, I've got to fix my bandage again. Okay, sorry about that. The thought occurred, though, I actually am glad I had the uh, moment to reflect there, because the thought occurs, and now I got... I could get back down there again. I left the goddamn bridge down at the bottom. So how in the hell... Oh, maybe I can grab it from here. Please, please let me grab it from here. Nope, I'm an idiot. Alright, well, let's see if we can call the elevator from down here. Because, whoops, I'll zip around here. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, now I can call the elevator, yes? Perfect. Now I go back up. It should be this side, yes? Yes, alrighty. Now we're cooking with gas. So let me drop... Yeah, I know. Hold on. Oh, Q and E rotates it? Well, that's good to know. Oops. Uh, I will get the hang of this, I promise. I need to get the damn block out of there first. And I am on the... Oh, nope. I am on the right side. Okay, you come over here. Drop. You. I know. Q and E. We're good to go with that. Okay, you need to be down... Of course, I rotated the wrong bloody way. You need to be there. No, you don't. Do I have to get closer? Oh, I didn't pay attention to the shadow, did I? So, there should be right. Almost. Oh, come on, Digby. Work with it. Work with it. And up. Oh, can I not... Oh, ah. I promise you, we'll get a grip on the controls sooner or later. 
It's right about there. Yes? Perfect. Okay. God, what a kerfuffle that was. Yeah, I, I would... I was gonna say I would complain about the controls. I'm not going to, because, frankly, they're fine. I'd complain about my stupidity would be more accurate. Well, it's a little bit cockeyed, but you know what? It works. So let's go see what's up here. I assume this one goes up. It does. Oh, hello. Very cool. I'm not controlling this at the moment. The game is. Am I back? No, I'm not. Hello. Don't draw all this cool stuff in and then not let me play with it. Okay, now I'm back. So this is something I can pick up, which means I've got to leave this stupid cube somewhere. Oh, this looks like the ticket thing I need. Okay, hold on. Let's... I'll just put everything in the elevator. Whoops. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, I'm gonna drop you. Yes, yes. I'm gonna pick you up. And I'm gonna drop... Well, I'm gonna go the other way around. Oh, my God. Digby, get a grip. There you go. Okay. Oh, I didn't read the... I didn't read the thing. Um, hello. Okay, that first month we spent together, I realize now... Oh. That first month we spent together, I realized how small a world I'd made for myself before we met. Now, Mr. Cube, I would like to have you back, please. I can't go back up. Alright, well, hopefully we don't need the damn cube at any point. So, oh, we can go back and get it. I'll just run up across the top. Okay. Now, which door had the ticket in? It was this one, was it not? Oh, let me guess. I gotta make this small. So that means I need to leave this here. Nope. Yeah, drop things when you want to drop them, not when you don't. And now I can run over here to the little model. And I think it was over this side, yes? Nope, that's the fairy tale castle. Oh, where the hell are we? Come here, you. Nope, that's not it. Oh, for God's sakes. There we are. And now we have a tiny ticket. Now, once I learn how to navigate this crazy little world, I think we'll be alright. Should of course it was right behind me. So I'm gonna have to rotate this. Aha! Perfect. Ah, <sighs> can you smell that? Oh, I smell it. Now this takes me back. Welcome to the fair. Not how I pictured it. What did you imagine? You saw my drawing, you know, circus tents and stuff. Well, a county fair is nothing like a circus. I know, but I don't know. I just kind of assumed. Hold on, your parents never took you to the fair? No, we went to Disneyland. Oh, you were going to have to set your bar a thousand times lower. Think like, like a farm? but with a lot more deep fried stuff, and tube tops, and $20 beers. Will they at least have a Ferris wheel? Okay, yeah, that is the one thing you sketched that we probably will see here. But it won't look like the janky one you drew. <laughs> really? No, it will be even jankier. I mean, these rides, they're death traps, and, and that's all part of the thrill. <laughs> tube tops, $20 beers, and death traps? That's setting the bar plenty high for me. <laughs> Dude did absolutely, 100% accurately describe what a county fair is like. So I'm guessing we can poke around and explore in here. But I think before we do that... Oh. Oops. Oh, okay. I guess I can't go get the cube. All right. Well, ooh. Hang on. I didn't notice that. Okay. Using trees for columns. I totally like that idea. I might steal that for Boundless. All right, where did my fare go? It was over here, I think. Yep, there's the fare. 
All right, back to the fair. Okay, well, I think I'm going to quit here for today. And we'll pick it back up, well, pretty soon, I imagine. I'm actually really digging this game. I love it. Like I said, uh, Annapurna Interactive, you generally can't go wrong. I don't think I've ever played anything by them I didn't like. And so far, i got to admit, Maquette has been pretty stunning. So, all right, well, I'm going to leave this here. As always, I have been Digby. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying Maquette, and I hope to see you for the next one.